So hello guys, it's Carpet Farmers back and today we're doing a tutorial on dirty and tractors and um, a stock motion tutorial. So these are the paints we use. Uh, we'll, we only need a couple of colours. So let's get into it. So today we'll be using brown paint to get the mud on it. So if we get some into the pot. Uh, we'll be muddying up the near enough the whole tractor and doing some modifications to it. So we'll get in and we'll start with this the back of it. So we will. And then I'll just zoom in. Start off with the back. So if we get our paintbrush and get some brown paint in and then don't want to get too much and then just like just, just do it lightly and then it's just as if like there's the mud and all coming up in around the back so if we move on round to the steps so I'll just get another wee touch of pin and just as if it's been walking up in So, you might want to just swish it about a wee bit so it doesn't look like it's just, just in the one spot. Yeah. Like that. So, get some up the mug guard. And then, uh, I like doing it on the window and like up and around here and all. And then, some on the windows have a spl some splashed up. And then, maybe just some in the lights and just, just do it where you think that there would be muck. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture into this video of uh, my first ever uh, muddy model I done. So it's a John Deere. I sold it to my friend. Uh, his name is Isaac. Um, he really liked it. So um, Johnny's just muddying up the front of this tractor at the minute and the mud guards, as we can see on the camera. So if we go back to the wheels and just get the muck and just go round and round and round. Go round the tyre too, so it's not just the wheels that are muddy, the wheels. We don't want this too dirty so it doesn't look like it's too rough. And then you might want to get a cloth and then if it's too much just it wipe a wee bit off. So it still looks as if it's mucky, but not too mucky. So we'll do the back next. Just swoosh it about and do things. Then you might want to get your cloth and just wipe in the wheel as well. Like like that, yep. And then move round to the other side. Um, we'll just do the same as what we did to the last one, just up in like, the window and stuff. Because you wouldn't want to forget a bit, a bit that you did in the other one and not on one side and then not on the other side. So get a bit of dirt in the window and then up the mud guard a bit and then put some underneath. And then you sometimes put some on the ground and then just wipe the wheel across it. And then it makes it look like the wheel's dirty. Yeah, because look, there's a wheel dirty. Um, and then we'll do the insides again. So Just we'll go mad in the inside of the wheel. Yeah, wheel. good tip. And then you might want to get a dry brush. Well, you keep your brushes in the paint pot. But you might want to get a dry brush and get it on any grounded windows man <laughs> then just no make it like so it's not fully muddy and then just like that and then round so so that it's not just mud yeah like that and try not to make any straight lines because mud doesn't go on a straight line do the same to the other side just not a straight line 
like and then in around everywhere yeah and in around the front in around there yeah so see what i'm doing i'm just sort of swishing the paintbrush about the tractor might want a wee bit on the bonnet as well so the mud's splatting up and a wee tiny bit on the roof So, so far the model's looking really good. We I think we're going to leave that to dry. Um, yeah, we're going to leave it to dry and then we'll probably put some modifications on it to make it look even better than what it does now. So, uh, we're going to switch over and we're going to do the stop motion now. So, yeah. Um, this is how you do stop motion. So, you first of all, you get your scene set up and you get your camera up, like as you can see. And you tighten all your bits on your tripod as tight as you can get them so that they don't move whenever you click it. So what you do is you get your scene set up and so we're going to make this wee man get into the car and drive down the road. So we'll just pretend it's left hand drive cause, so he doesn't have to go around the other side of the car. So what you do is you take a picture, so you'll come back up to the camera, uh, take a pic, that's a video, take a picture, take a picture so and then you get your guy, you move him forward the slightest wee bit. And then you take another picture or another video. <laughs> so another video and then you move him. Another picture, not a video this time. And then you move it again. And you just keep doing this until it gets right close up to the car and then you just go as fast as you can and then until he's right up close to the car right up close and then as soon as you get him right up close to the car take your last picture and then take him away and throw him behind you and then what you do is you Take a picture with them not there. And then you get your move your car a wee bit. Oop. Move your car a slight wee bit. As you can see in the video, just keep moving it. I'm moving it. So we'll skip through a wee bit just till we get to the road. And then and here's a tip. Uh don't move your camera, move the car. Because it'll look like your car's meet doing big jumps. So we'll skip through and we'll show you where it should be in the finish. So yeah. So as you can see on the bottom screen of the camera, the car is nearly out of shot. So what you want to do then is make the car go out of shot. Well, don't make it straight away, but whenever it goes out of shot, take a picture. And leave your car there. Then what you do with your camera is you move your camera down and reset it all again. What I would probably do in this scene is take it right along to the end of the road. Like that. And then just have a wee small bit of the carpet in like, if I just slap in this again. Like that. And then what you do is take a picture. And move it along again, take a picture, move it along, and so on. So, I'll show you where it ends up in the end again. So, and again, the car is going out of shot again. Um, so, what you want to do is take it out of shot and press the button, and then move your camera. And then, so that'll do us for the stop motion today. It's only a short stop motion. Um, yeah, so we'll get back over to painting the John Deere and modifying it. So, yeah. So, we're going to put a black front um, linkage on it. So, if there's brown, just if you put brown on it for dirt, just paint over it. And then just wipe it well if it's still wet you can wipe it off that there was a wee bit bad so let me try again so just get it up close and then on we go like 
that and then in the inside just like so and then you do it on the outside so it doesn't look weird but you could do it with any colour of paint as long as you had it you just get them in the local like the oh. shop or the wee small tubs come from the model shop they're model paint for like airfix cars or planes or whatever you have and the big acrylic paint you get them in a cheap just a cheap paint shop no not cheap um cheap look like uh just T tesco's or something Poundland or something or something like that in the craft area that's where i got them they're only one pound each and it does you for quite a wee while so uh, I'm just finishing up that and then we are going to glue on so, a beacon. Yep. So uh, we're using this here um, glue. So we are. Um, looks, it's strong but it just takes a wee while to glue on. So we'll set all this paint out of the road and then turn around to the back and Get it out. Where'd our bacon go? There's our bacon. Just put a tiny drop on and then just set it on. Just like that. And then same on the other side. Just watch you don't stick your fingers together. Because that's happened to me plenty of times. Quite hard to get off with this. So, this is the end of our tutorial. I hope you like our tractor and it looks really good. Yep. So, so um, hope you look watch the farm tour video on my farm. And Johnny should be going up within the next couple of days as well. But for now, uh, guys, uh, subscribe, like the video, and us current farmers we'll see you next time cheerio